From Creation Ministries International, you're listening to Creation.com's article podcast. The research and insights that give God the glory, refute evolution, and give you the answers to defend your faith. I'm Joseph Darnell. Cats are reckoned to be the most popular pet in the world, with more than 600 million living among people worldwide, despite the fact that they contribute virtually nothing in the way of sustenance or work to human endeavor. This helps explain why there is much less variation in domestic cats than in dogs. The diversity of canine sizes, shapes, and temperaments reflects the fact that people have long selected and bred dogs for such tasks as guarding, herding, hunting, and sled pulling. Cats, on the other hand, which according to Scientific American, do not take instruction well, have not been subjected to the same selective breeding pressures. While domestic dogs can look completely distinct from their ancestral wolf form, many house cats are hard to distinguish from the wild cat, with which they readily interbreed and share the same species name, Felis sylvestris. Cats Big and Small Written by David Catchpole All the cat species alive today can interbreed, even between genera and subfamilies of the family Felidae. So this suggests that all living members of Felidae descended from a pair of one original cat kind that Noah took on the ark. The smallest to largest cats can be linked by interbreeding as follows. Domestic cats can be crossed with the 3 to 9 kilogram margay. Leopardus weedii, which readily interbreeds with the 11 to 16 kg ocelot. Leopardus pardalis, which can be crossed with the puma, 35 to 100 kg. Puma concolor, which has been hybridized with the leopard, 30 to 85 kg. Panthera pardus, which can be crossed with the lion, 120 to 250 kg. Panthera leo, which can readily interbreed with the tiger. And Panthera tigris, with adult tigers ranging from 110 kg to a mass of 320 kg. The extinct dagger-tooth Smilodon populator is most famous for its giant upper canines, hence its popular name, saber-toothed tiger. While it is in the family Felidae, it is not in the same subfamily as tigers, Pantheranae, but is in the subfamily Macarodontinae. Although we can't hybridize extinct creatures, we do know that the living members of Felidae can hybridize, so it seems likely that extinct Felids could likewise have hybridized. Many people know that cats were worshipped as gods in Egypt, but that's not where they were originally tamed. Based on DNA similarity, researchers say that all domestic cats are descended from a small family of cats living on the banks of the Tigris and Euphrates. It was there that cats first began to take advantage of mice and food scraps near human settlement. It is also the general area where Noah's descendants settled after the flood. See Genesis 11 too. The Middle Eastern wildcat is anecdotally less flighty and more tolerant of humans than other wildcat species. Scientific American noted, In the lingo of evolutionary biology, natural selection favored those cats that were able to cohabit with humans and thereby gain access to trash and mice. Actually, natural selection has nothing to do with evolutionary biology because natural selection is simply a favoring of a subset of existing genetic information. In contrast, the supposed evolutionary pathway from primordial cell to Persian cats, pumas, and panthers requires an increase in genetic information. Cats were almost certainly kept around by people initially because of their incredible hunting instinct. Killing mice and other pets would have been a tremendous benefit. However, this function did not require them to work closely with their humans, as dogs did when they were domesticated, so they were not domesticated to the extent that dogs were. Though often aloof, cats can be irresistibly affectionate to people they like. And examples abound of the incredible loyalty of cats towards the people in their household. For example, the oft-viewed video clip of the seven-year-old Californian boy being rescued from a savage dog attack by his pet cat Tara. The cheetah is a big cat in the subfamily Felinae that inhabits most of Africa and parts of Iran. It is the only surviving member of the genus Asinonyx. It has a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour, making it the fastest land animal. 
The cat's tongue has backward-facing spines known as papillae. These allow cats to groom themselves by licking their fur, with the papillae functioning like a hairbrush. All felines are capable of walking very precisely when stalking their prey, for example by placing each hind paw directly in the place trodden by the corresponding forepaw, providing surety of footing and minimizing noise. Having retractable claws sheathed within the skin and fur of the paw's toe pads also aids silent stalking and helps keep the claws sharp. Normally, cats are hypercarnivorous, though they do need greens as part of a balanced diet, which is normally included in cat food. They normally cannot survive on plants alone and may become very ill if they are fed a vegan diet, as they cannot synthesize their own vitamin D, arachidonic acid needed for wound healing, and taurine, maintenance of the retina and heart function. Cats can become very ill, suffer eye problems, or even die if they don't eat animal-based food. The term catnap likely derives from house cats being seen to fall asleep for a brief time. But in fact, cats sleep for an average of 14 hours per day, even up to 20 hours in a 24-hour period. With cat's proclivity for sleeping, Noah himself was likely not much troubled by his pair of felines during the sojourn on the ark. Cat's eyes have a layer of tissue behind the retina, which reflects light passing through the retina back into the eye, improving the eye's sensitivity to dim light. This and other features give cats excellent night vision. They are able to see at only one-sixth of the light level required for human vision, and the tissue behind the retina is retroreflective. Light is reflected back in the same direction, so image sharpness and contrast is not compromised. The cat's eye retroreflective road markers were modeled on this, an early 1933 example of biomimetics. This makes cats who refuse to eat meat altogether even more remarkable. A two-year-old British pet cat called Dante was reported to be exclusively and resolutely vegetarian. And there have been at least two famous big cats, Little Tyke, the lion that wouldn't eat meat, and Lee, Spaghetti Lioness, being exclusively vegetarian. However, the Bible tells us that cats were originally created vegetarian, in Genesis 1.30, and it also speaks of a time when the lion will eat straw like an ox, in Isaiah 11.7 and 65.25. In that light, today's instances in nature of vegetarianism, altruism, and other evolutionary anomalies can instead be much more readily understood as echoes of a formerly very good creation. A creation now in serious bondage to decay, see Romans 8, 19 through 22, where even cats with nine lives suffer mutations. One leading creationist thinker has suggested vegetarian-capable cats might be examples of reverse mutations restoring the feline ability to synthesize the needed body components from the raw materials ingested as plant material, thus removing the drive to eat meat. Far from supporting an evolutionary story of origins, cats big and small actually demonstrate in many ways the truth of the Bible, God's Word. In the Bible, God uses big cats, primarily lions, to make several important teaching points for example, to highlight David's selfless courage in 1 Samuel 17, 34-37, and even as agents of God's judgment in 2 Kings 17, 24-25. There are over a hundred references to big cats in Scripture. Some speak of power. For example, Proverbs 20, verse 2, and Hosea 13, 7. Others of uncommon restraint in Daniel 6, 1 Kings 13, 27, and 1 Kings 13, 28. How wonderfully emblematic of the single greatest historical figure ever, the Lion of Judah, our loving Savior Jesus Christ, Creator and Lord of all. Evolution's Achilles' Heels is a powerful book and documentary that exposes the fatal flaws of evolutionary thinking. Like no other that we are aware of, it is authored by nine PhD scientists to produce a coordinated, coherent, powerful argument. Testing the most basic fields in the evolutionary theory, such as natural selection and the origin of life, scientists expose devastating weaknesses. All of the authors received their doctorates from similar secular universities as their evolutionist counterparts. Each is a specialist in a field relevant to the subject written about, natural selection, origin of life, geology, genetics, radiometric dating, the fossil record, cosmology, and ethics. 
The documentary film and book directly demolishes the very pillars of the belief system that underpins our now secular culture, evolutionary naturalism. It's coupled with the biblical command to reach the lost with the Bible's good news. In a nutshell, it's a comprehensive outreach tool like no other. Get your copy of Evolution's Achilles Heels at creation.com slash store. For everyone at creation.com, thanks for listening.